It's just me getting ready for the stream. Um. Oh. Don't need my glasses today, I don't think. I don't feel blurry. Let's uh, turn down with some of this down a little bit. You can get me. Hi, you can get me early. Because. Look at my tea. Typically, I'd want to drink my tea before we start properly. Oh, it's uh, I might as well start now, eh? What's the what's the problem? Mercury Star Runner hype, indeed. I think that's gonna okay. So, if you'd like to ask a question during the stream, question in brackets will help me put it out. Uh, feel free uh, free to ask what you want. Um, obviously, my specialist subjects are me, eggs. Potatoes and a uh, bit star citizen, to some degree. Um, lovely emotes there, Warp Space Gamer. Um, none of mine. That, that's upset me. I want some of my emotes used. Um, I, uh, let's, let's start with what, what happened over the weekend. So, me and Zin did a playthrough of Little Hope, which is the spooky game. Um, as part of the Man and Dan um, uh, Dark Pictures series uh, of, of games. Um, little sort of like interactive movie almost. Uh, it was very good overall. I got very angry at a part which was... Um, it just decided that I didn't complete the quick time event even though I, I did. I did. Um, which is uh, made me grumpy. But it was... Uh, oh, the, the video was claimed by... Um, 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 by uh, Bandai Capcom or Bandai Namco or something like that. Um, and the bit that's uh, claimed is me screaming into the camera going, um, when something spooky happens and swearing. So maybe I sounded like one of their assets. Um, but uh, it doesn't matter because the video won't be monetized anyway. Um, so I'll chuck it out. Um, uh, I'll chuck it out like tomorrow or something. Um, uh, the VOD for that, for people that are interested. We did a full playthrough, it was about four hours. It was spooky, it was good. Uh, I want to do more co-op games with Zin uh, on the channel, um, especially on stream, because they're, they're something for us to do, and uh, we want to just chill and chat. Um, there will be a, uh, later on today, um, the video's just been finished, uh, uh, later on today there will be a uh, November channel update going through what's happening with Star Citizen over November, what content we're planning to do, uh, what there is to be hyped for, and thanking a huge range of people um, that uh, have donated, um, subscribed, uh, become channel members, become Patreons um, throughout the last couple of months. Because, um, I mean, there's some people like Sarge, uh, who has chucked so much money at me, it's ridiculous, and people like Robert Johnston that keeps on just chucking money at me every week, which is incredibly generous and super appreciated uh but uh, i don't really know how to thank those people other than thanking them um <laughs> do you know what i mean and it's like i'm i i do not think i'm giving that sort of value uh, but uh one of the things i do want to keep on doing on the channel um whatever is uh, i'll always have a donation goal up just so you know what money's going towards it's not uh we desperately need money for this unless i say that i don't think that will be the case uh, so um, what I want to do with donation money over the next um, month or so is uh, look into getting a full proper mobile camera rig. Um, so I've got, I've got, um, I've got a Canon 750D, which is great for video and photos. Uh, I've got various webcams now. Um, uh, this needs to get set up as one of the, the stream cams to, for facing me probably to the side of my beautiful egghead, so I can look to the camera and talk and play. Um, but also will be used for some interview stuff uh, as well. Now, the lens on here is not appropriate, so I've been trying to get this lens um, to, for streaming stuff, but it's just not appropriate. So I've bought a, a couple hundred quid lens, um, which I did some research into, and hopefully it's uh, it's a good choice. It, I'll, I'll, be, I'll use it, whatever. Um, but uh, I've realized that there's a lot of other content I want to do on the channel that we can start to do because I've got Zin now working for me and I can plan for it for after lockdown so I don't have to rush it I can literally go right let's let's think about some after lockdown 
um, stuff, and that will be studio tours. But I'll I'll poke um, CIG uh, to give me a studio tour as soon as their studios are, are open again, and it's safe. Um, and I'll get some interviews with people, and I'll start to travel to uh, bar citizen events and uh, and that sort of stuff, and actually get interviews on camera with people. Um, because I think that it's a good idea. I also want to do some tabletop board game stuff, potentially on my channel or stream, um, which is sort of like extracurricular to, to Board Gamer, but might be part of uh, Board Gamer, the main channel. It depends on if people like it. Um, there'll be lots of talky-talky uh, and showy-showy. Basically, I don't want to... I don't want to overly dilute the main channel with anything that's non-Star Citizen. I love Star Citizen. I want the main channel to be Star Citizen and most of the stuff on there. I want to be Star Citizen related. Do you know what I mean? That's right. I think people will agree with me. That's the main reason they follow me, probably. Um, but um, I hope you're doing well. What? Don't, sod, what? Are you alright, Sod? Addison. Addison. Lilani and the space. Uh, uh, Elon Musk. Future space Elon Musk has been declared the winner. Of the Imperator elections. Uh, let me show you. Um, so, uh, maybe Mintzin will do a, a quick law post of this as well. Um, I, mean, I mentioned it in the video that's going to go up today. But Lania Anderson. Ms. Addison. She is um, the, uh, the winner. She's the Imperator the election result winner. Um, it... I hereby certify Lania... Leilani, why can't I say a name sometimes? Addison, winner of the 20, uh, 2950 election and proclaim her the next Imperator. So unless something happens to her, uh, she'll be the, um, the Imperator. She's now Imperator-elect. And uh, I'm more excited because I voted for her. Um, but yeah, so that will affect the law of the game going forward. It won't affect Squadron 42 because Squadron 42 is set before this, um, which is good. Um, but yeah, I was I was quite. Um, I think that's going to be quite cool going forward. We'll see what ha what happens with that. Um, she's very pro AI, pro science, um, and sort of education, and uh, wants to catapult humanity into sort of like this um, golden age of uh, technical um, sort of evolution and and all this sort of stuff. And, uh, yeah, I like her. I think she's a cool candidate, but she does run the risk of Skynet um, murderizing us all, right? And who wouldn't want that as gameplay content? People want AI, uh, actual, like, robots in-game. She's the most likely to, to give it to you. Um, so what have we got? What have we got here? So I, I will talk about... We'll talk about the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. We'll talk about some of the ships. We'll talk about all that sort of stuff as well in a minute. I'm just seeing, uh, I'm going to go through people's questions. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What's your thoughts on new ships like the Talon, soon to be completed and flyable, uh, when very old ships like the Polaris Endeavour and Bunny Merchantman have been sitting as JPEGs for years? So, um, <clears throat> obviously I want the Polaris Endeavour and Panem Merchantman in, in the game. There's not that many more of the concept ships to get in game, though. When you look at it, they've got through a huge amount of them. Um, obviously, with like when they clear out the Hull series and stuff like that, that's a big swathe of ships finished off as well. So uh, there's not actually that many more concept ships to get in game. Now they get certain ships in game because they're easy to fit in game. They've got plans for them, um, and I, I quite like that. Some of these straight flyable ships, uh, for sure. Um, do I get annoyed that they're not going to get these bigger ships in game as soon as these newer ships? No, no, I'm not, um, because I think it would um, take many more quarters to get some of these larger ships in game. Um, I think what they're doing with some of these smaller ships that they make to flyable is that they've got like a sixth month, six month slot, yeah, when they're not working on Squadron 42's needs or a location or something else, and they go, "What can we get done in this six month slot?" Well, we can get one of these ships done. This one's going to take nine months. This one's going to take a year or a certain amount of sprints. Um, so let's try and get, well, let's get these ones done. Um, these new ones, bam, we can fit those into to two quarter cycle or a quarter cycle. Do you see what I mean? Um, now, uh, a more reasonable argument 
is why don't we have the Tumble Rangers? Why don't we have some of the smaller ships? Why don't we have the X1s? Now, I actually think that's because specific people need to be working on those because they're, they're, they're sp their particular design and they are um, otherwise occupied with other stuff. So it all comes down to priorities uh, at the end of the day. Um, is it annoying? Yes. Is it understandable? Yes. Um, so I can understand why certain ships haven't been done, but I, I would expect to see the Polaris in by the end of next year. Uh, I would expect to see the Banning Merchantman the year after, uh, and I would expect to see the Endeavour potentially the year after that. The Endeavour's going to be a while before it's in-game, in, in my opinion, because it's a science ship, it's so complex. Um, uh... With the recent changes in the current patch, do you have sugar in your tea? What? Yeah, I do have sugar in my tea. What? How can you hate on my tea? It's lovely. Mm. Only a little bit of sugar, though. If I didn't have sugar in my tea, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have any sugar throughout the day. I need a bit of processed sugar, eh? It's my thoughts. Um, I'm excited to see the, the Talon and the Shrike in-game as well. So... Those ships are interesting to me. They're very pretty, very cool, and they help flesh out the Tavaran, which I think is actually important. Um, would I would I be annoyed if they literally left the Polaris, Endeavour, and Banning Merchantman for another three years, not doing any of them, and just producing new ships straight to flyable? Yeah, I would. But I, I don't think that's going to be the case. Is the criminal six system fixed? Um, so... 3.11.1 will go a ways to addressing some more bugs and criminal issues. 3.11 fixed some stuff as well. If someone boards my ship and I kill them, do I go to jail instead of them? Oh, uh, that's a good point. I think that will probably be fully fixed in 3.11.1. Uh, I was having that problem. I see what you mean. Yeah, some of those bugs are, are annoying. Or not working as intended, I suppose, is what I should say. Uh, Hello, board. Do you think CIG will sell the Mercury Star Runner advocacy skin? Hmm. I doubt it, but it is possible that they could sell some skins with it uh, on, on its release. Um, will it be obtainable by other means? I. It's quite possible that it was a, a one-off thing. Um, it depends on how they want to do it. Um, but, it but you will be able to have some pretty strong customization in the future to be able to make something very similar to it. Um, but it's possible that they could sell it. Um, I don't know the, the very small minutiae specifics of stuff like that. Um, well, sometimes they do, but not in this case. <laughs> With Addison, you're voting for a brutal Shodan takeover, indeed. Um, let's vote for Shodan. Uh, do you think they will make a proper shuttle for transporting decent amount of people... Decent Decent amounts of people um, to orbit for the 890 jump. Possibly a variant of the 300i with eight or so seats um, instead of a, a better kitchen. Um, I would expect to see some civilian um, focused little um, little ships like the um, uh, Argo passenger cargo, the Pargo, um, but more bus-like. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I would expect to see stuff like that in the, in the future. What's the average velocity of a swallow, uh, European or African? Well, African or European, I mean, I, I haven't seen a Monty Python in so long. <laughs> After lockdown, good luck, mate. Oh, God. Um, yeah, so UK is in lockdown basically for the whole of November minimum. I'm starting this Wednesday, uh, Thursday, well, technically Thursday um, morning, I think. Um, so I'll talk about it in my, my video that will come up uh, after this um, stream. So bear that in mind. It's um, it's a it's a tricky one. Um, what the right thing to do is um, follow government guidance is what I'd say is the right thing to do at the moment. Um, I don't want to be. Uh, part of a problem just because I don't agree with something, I'll, I'll go with the uh, with the flow and then criticise it after it's all um, said and done. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a difficult one. I was hoping that life was getting back to a bit a bit closer to normal. Um, I was quite enjoying my D and D games, 
um, that we were doing every Thursday. Um, yes, yeah, so it's it's annoying, stressing me out. I wanna wanna be able to get out and actually see people. It's um sort of put a spanner in the works and made everything uncertain. And a lot of my mates that were just getting back to work and stuff are now going, well, we might lose our jobs again and we're furloughed again. And well, I'm Canadian, so I don't have a say as well. But what are your thoughts on the uh, current US elections? Um, okay, so I'm not going to be overly political on my channel. And I know that that can polarize some people. Um, I think that it's going to be interesting. Um, I... Uh, Will re obviously respect the decision whatever uh, it's, it's democracy in action and people that are overly polarized and would and, and that would ever use violence um are uh, entirely wrong about what democracy is and you're an idiot if you think that violence is the answer and we preclude violence in a democracy and that's why we have voting um that's why we have the police and the army is you shouldn't have to do that as, as a as a civilian um nor should you um, you should protect yourself, but by all means, but um, uh, that's, a, that's a very different thing. But I uh, hope people respect the, the, the outcome of the, the elections there. Um, it just, it's a weird polarising thing, uh, for sure. I um, hope everyone stays safe. Um, I hope everyone goes out and votes. Uh, and I think you, you should vote whether or not you think your candidate's going to win. You vote for you, and you vote for the, the, the right decision in your own head. Um, yeah? I think that, that's fair enough. Um, when can we finally see the Star Runner? Uh, it should be at, in 3.11.1. .1, um, that will be between now and the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo on the 20th of November. That's when it should be uh, coming out between now and then. Um, also, you should totally play Cyberpunk when it comes out. I literally talk about it in the video that's going to be going out in a bit. Um, I wanted to play it, obviously, in November, but it's been delayed till December. Um, only 21 days, though. And, uh, I'm rather than polish a game than not. They can take their time. I've been covering Star Citizen for years. They can, CD Projekt Red can take their time. Um, also, um, yes, I will certainly be playing it. And I think Zin will be doing a playthrough as well. And you can see the differences in our playthroughs. Yes, Addison is the robot lady indeed. Uh, do you think they will add an Imperium star system or an alien star system? Um, what, what do you mean? There's, there's going to be lots of alien star systems. Uh, if this election allows us to buy an F8 Lightning, I'm all in. Um, so, uh, I wouldn't expect in the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo to necessarily be able to fly the F8 Lightning and the F7 um, military um, ship, but expect them to be on display and maybe flying around with uh, AI flying them. There may be some interesting missions and things to do with the Imperator eventually. Will Star Citizen run on lower end devices uh, with a decent 30 FPS once the Gen 12 renderer is in? I cache server meshing, all that sort of stuff's in. Um, so it should be more scalable, and with the correct concessions, um, when they have that stuff in, you should be able to run it on lower end systems with higher frame rates, as long as you don't mind uh, reducing the graphic settings and your resolution. That was the idea. Do you think the Mercury Star Runner will release before the Expo, or do you think they're pu purposely holding it back? I think it's pretty ready. Uh, I think we'll see it in the PTU, so we'll, we'll, get, we'll see a, a wider PTU, uh, probably a 3.11.1 .1 with the Mercury Star Runner in it, in my opinion. Um, it's possible they're holding it back for the, the Expo now, though. And well, again, it's only, only a few days, so... Um, which flight ready ship has the greatest technical debt? Which flight ready ship has the greatest technical debt or missing features in your opinion? Um, the Reclaimer? Probably. I mean, it depends on how you define that because it could be the Reclaimer, it could be the Carrack, it could be the Herald, it could be. These are all ships that require a lot of, lot of actual um, work to get all their mechanics working. Do you know what I mean? Um, some people would say probably uh, the uh, Retaliator. Um, 
I mean, some people will say it's the constellation and the constellation needs a big rework, things like that. So you know, it depends on how you how you judge it. Um, but I do believe they will do all of that. Um, do you think we could potentially hijack an address? Yes, in the future. No, in the short term, because they haven't finished the interiors or they've stripped the interiors for the Persistent Universe. So they haven't finished the, the, the interior of the ship for the Persistent Universe. So it would be very hard to hijack. Not impossible, though, because there is some weird stuff you can do with getting AI to follow you. Um, and when I was uh, during Fleet Week in May, um, you were able to actually breach the Idris and get to the terminals that NPCs were on and using. Um, so there are occasionally some ways of breaking things that CIG hadn't seen. I mean, you used to be able to... With the, the new gun turrets, the new um, defense turrets, yeah. You used to be able to move them. You could fly them away from the station and just set them up somewhere else. <laughs> um, literally get them in another ship and fly off with them. Uh, by not that many more, you mean 20 or so, right? Uh, yeah, if you count the whole of the... Um, Let's have a look. Let's have a look how many more ships have got to be done. I actually need to update this ship tracker. Boop, boop, boop. So, what have I got? Um, I'm not going to count the Idris M, because I think that's pretty much done for Squadron 42's needs, and we're going to see it literally um, next month. Uh, Banner Metroman, the Hull Sea, the Orion. Uh, same with the Javelin, I'm not going to count that, because, uh, again, next month. Crucible, Endeavour, Genesis Starliner, Redeemer, uh, Constellation Taurus. Uh, I'm not going to count that, because I think that's almost done. Um, uh, and then the hull A, B, D, and E. So, count basically five hull series. Uh, so, that's 11. Uh, Polaris, 12. Nova Tank, 13. Pioneer, uh, 14, Vulture, 15, X1 series, I can't remember, it's 1, uh, 16, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's about 20, it's over 20, um, exclu excluding all the variants, um, but there's things like Oh, do, 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 do. The Nova Tank. We know that it's got a, got a lot of prioritization. Um, and I would expect to see it reasonably soon, within the next couple of quarters sort of thing. Uh, quite genuinely. Um, the Vulture, I actually think we'll see pretty soon. Um, could we see the Apollo next year? Possibly. Um, so, I mean, if they get... Thank you very much for the cheer. Thank you, thank you. Mill stuff. You star. I'm a board chill. Ingo Cognito. Thank you very much. Since 30Ks are clearly related to the absence of coffee machines in Star Citizen, do you think we'll see coffee makers in 3.12? Ask on behalf of my cultists. I expect to see um, lots of flair and items like that functional and buyable and purchasable and, and movable and placeable uh, once we have iCash. So think sort of mid um, Q2, Q3. Uh, of 2021 if you want your when, when you want your coffee machines thank you very much for the donation very much appreciated demand vote recount <laughs> oh oh my god you want no no you want um candidate no vote for all oh dear suboptimal thank you so much for that though um i will demand for ten dollars i will demand a recount for you even though my candidate won from our faith. Thank you very much, though. Very much appreciated. You star. Mm. So, uh, obviously got the Talon and the Shrike coming in 3.12 as well. Uh, we could see some other stuff there as well. Um, like, I think we might see uh, the Taurus. Um, but the, the Rangers and the Ares, um, the Nova Tank, I think they're all pretty close in my opinion, uh, as well. So.
Uh, so the the talon and the shrike is the is the talons that I was referring to. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Is Crusader showing up big this Intergalactic Aerospace Expo? Uh, so I don't think they've got any new ships that they're um, putting in. And the Crusader landing zone, Orison and Crusader as a gas giant, isn't ready. It's So the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo this year is at New Babbage, the frosty planet um, of uh, Microtech. Um, next year, though, I would expect to see uh, it on Crusader, um, at Orison Crusader. Do you think the new Emperor will give me what I've always wanted in this game, droids? At least in lore, yes. And the building development towards that. Um, could we see m droids in game now because of that? Eventually, potentially. I'm very much looking forward to Habs and Lanco mechanics. Where is the first place you are going to set up home? Good question. Uh, huh. I don't know. If it's in the Stanton system, probably on Hurston. Because I like Hurston, oddly. Um, one of the nicer places on Hurston. Pretty big as well. Somewhere with atmosphere. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I mean, I mean, I'd try and probably get a hab at Orison. Yeah, makes sense, right? Building a base is different, very much different from just owning a hab in a landing zone, as well. Uh, do you think CIG will ever add in full bust, fully, full body customization, or just leave it with facial features like Mass Effect? I think. Short, long term, I think we're still going to have just facial customizations, and then things happen to your character. Um, maybe you will be able to pay to have different body customization as well as in in-game credits um, as a as a feature. Um, is I really want everyone to start equally with the character model, and you don't want the character models to have advantages over them, although the female character is going to have slightly different animations and sizes than the male models, so there is going to be a min-max there for sure. Um, and you sort of want to avoid that where you can. Um, but you, you, you can sort of get away with it if you go, well, you, if you want to change um, your abs, you've got to do exercise, which costs money in game, question mark, ab surgery. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a curious one. Uh, do I, in the extreme long term, I will expect, uh, I do expect that you can change your body. Um, but uh, not, um, not until like after release, maybe, sort of thing. Um, what if the Nomad isn't a base builder? Or, so the Nomad might not be a base builder. Uh, the current theory I'm running with, with the Nomad, is that it's probably the refinery, mobile refinery ship. Um, it could be a base builder, or a little mobile hab, or a 3D printer, or something like that. Um, what if it's just a medium multi-role ship from Consolidated at Land? I mean, it's still possible that it's that, yeah? Do you know what? It's possible. We don't know for sure. Someone sent me loads of money! I like money! Hmm. I will update um, this counter. Um, accurately at some point. Uh, mechanics! I'm waiting with my wife in the hospital, waiting... What? What? I'm with my, my, my wife in the hospital, waiting for our new baby daughter. Congratulations. Oh! Been watching your videos for the past couple of years. Thanks for the great content and keep keeping me sane during this pandemic. Good luck on your success uh, and to us all. Oh, you gem of a human. I mean... I, I, I hope that listening to me is helping you not go insane with waiting for your daughter to be born. Um, I can imagine that's um, a mixture of joyous and incredibly stressful um, waiting for that to happen. Um, I hope everything's perfectly fine. I'm sure it will be. Um, good luck 
and congratulations. Uh, and thank you for being that's us is very kind. Um Oh you star. Um give my best to your wife. And name your daughter after me. <laughs> thank you. Oh. You star. That's uh, put me in a very good mood. Um Do you think while well, I have Do you think with Death of a Spaceman Griefers will have more fun killing other players? Yes. Um, but not just griefers. Um, it, okay, the thing is, is that mortality is going to be really important in game. Is it possible that people will try and exploit that so that maybe they have a load of new accounts with uh, auroras that are trash accounts that they try and um, ram people to death with? Potentially. However, what do you then do? Will you make the death of a spaceman mechanics be able to counteract that? So. I would say that if you die in a safe area, or in a landing zone, yeah, that you've got very quick access to medical care. So, it won't count towards your DNA getting destabilised, because they just go, we've got the original body here. Yeah, so, for people that don't know, they basically talked about Death of a Spaceman in a bit more detail, uh, and we will cover this with a bit of a, a deep dive and some um, more context in, in the very near future. Um, but uh, basically now, um, when you die, if you don't get rescued, well, when you get no knocked down or whatever um, and bleed out, uh, if you don't get rescued, then you'll be recloned, um, and then you can actually go back to where your body was and get your stuff back if you wanted to. Um, but uh, the idea is that after you've been cloned enough times, your DNA might destabilize and you'll have to create a new character. It's the sort of um, the way they want to do the lives now. Um, so... Uh, Pretty similar to what they wanted to do originally, but more with an Eve flavour and vibe. Do you see what I mean? It's it's sort of like it gets around the why did I respawn there? But I can go get back, get my body back. Like, isn't that supposed to represent me being um, picked up by, uh, found by medical people and taken here? But also that happens instantly. There's no time changing in the game for everyone else. It's just for me. What what? But cloning you and respawning you like that makes more sense because of that. Um, now, I do think there's going to be ways around the mortality system. I do think you're going to have to pay for better clones, pay for um, having your DNA regenerated. But the idea is, is that dying in-game is going to be something you want to avoid. Mortality, risk, reward, really important. Um, and it will be costly. You're going to want to um, surrender, you're going to want to... Um, comply, you're going to want to not die, you're going to want to eject, you're going to, it's going to drive the way you play the game. Uh, but I would also say, yeah, that it's important that they prevent exploiting and griefing and uh, things the system should protect you against, which is, yeah, if people are trying to, oh, I've got a really powerful, super powerful character, oh, how do we get rid of him? Well, we just get 12 people to ram him with an Aurora in a safe area, go, that's not how the game intended that to be played. So you make them effectively immune to that. Um, who won the Star Citizen election? Uh, Lalanya, L L Addison. Addison. I can't say her name sometimes. Leilani Addison. There we go. Um, space Elon Musk. We don't know what the size of the Nomad is yet. Uh, for sure, I'm expecting a s small to medium ship for it. Um. What else have we got? Uh, will there be larger asteroids introduced? Yes. Current five kilometer uh, can be mined with either the S1 Helix or the size 2. Uh, will they create larger ones around 10 to 30k mineables? Um, yeah, uh, yeah. so expect to see uh, a larger range of asteroids for mining that potentially even need to be broken up um, and tracked and stuff because they're going to have things like the um, Orion uh, that will want to be large-scale strip mining and things like that as well. So um, I would expect to see uh, a much more a wider variety of asteroids um, and even huge asteroids that you can't mine properly. You have to mine parts of them. Yeah? 
The power and resource play looked really cool. What did you think? Yes, I mean, it's an evolution of the pipe system they originally had in game. Um, so for, for people that, that don't know this, physicalized components, they, they want to have all of the components connected to each other and with relays and wires, basically pipes going between all these components that then feed into each other. So you'd have fuel going to the power plant, which then produces power, which then goes into all the other systems that it's connected to. Um, there's also batteries that can hold a charge, and while there's no power going to them from uh, directly from a power plant, or not enough, the battery will lose charge to power these items. Um, and uh, relays connect all these things together and can set, ha have multiple wires connected to them, but if you lose a relay or the components, then you need to repair it, otherwise you're going to lose parts of that connection, and therefore functionality in your ship. So. And you don't have to have all the relays on at once either, um, so you can have them turned off and then turn them on to reroute power, and they're going to take power themselves, so efficiency-wise, you're going to want to have uh, these off potentially and then manage them appropriately, and that's going to be very fuel-efficient because fuel literally converts into power, gives more of a reason to have fuel. Um, it's, not, um, it's not quantum fuel that's converted, that's the, it's the normal hydrogen fuel. Um, Uh, curious to know when we can properly immerse ourselves within Star Citizen Universe using, using uh, VR and uh, eye tracking. Um, so, uh, total eye tracking and eye tracking isn't properly uh, working with Star Citizen. You can bodge some of this stuff to work. Uh, VR, again, you can bodge it to work. Uh, they'll look at VR in more detail once they've got the Vulcan and Gen 12 renderer uh, stuff in. Um, that could be um, the first stage, well, tier zero, as early um, as the end of this year, maybe, um, or um, by the middle of next year, and then they'll tell us a bit more about their plans for VR. Um. Uh, CIG still hasn't introduced farming, aliens, uh, homestead building. Those additions will inevitably introduce lots of new gameplay ships and ground vehicles, right? Uh, yes, they will, and they are uh, working on uh, a good portion of that now. Um, homesteads, I suspect they are working on sort of farming at the same time, or at least ideas about farming. Um, I wouldn't expect to see farming uh, when homesteads come in immediately, um, but uh, they'll be building it with that in mind. Uh, when are the Asperia Tans going to be available? You'll probably be able to purchase them. Well, you'll be able to purchase them again during Fleet, uh, during the Interscanic Aerospace Expo. Um, they will be available to fly uh, mid-December when 3.12 comes out. So that's the Talon and the Shrike. Hey, board. When do you think the giant sandworms will be encounterable in-game? When they have Lear 3 in-game. Uh, almost certainly at the same time, and that will be a while away because Layer 3 is quite a fast system and it doesn't look like they're working on it um, at the moment. It looks like CIG is working on various pyro creatures, but no updates on those worms. Yeah, that is correct. Uh, what is your favourite space sci fi movie and shows? Um, without mentioning, uh, well, I'm going to mention them in the question uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar, and Firefly. Um, uh, okay. Um, I quite enjoy Altered Carbon. Um, I love a huge amount of anime. Um, I don't really know. I have a, a much sci-fi I watch. I'd have to think about it. It's probably a good amount of sci-fi I watch. Um, but I watch mostly YouTube stuff, to be honest. <laughs> I've watched people play games and uh, and stuff like that. And you've mentioned a lot of the shows that I would have talked about. Um, I mean, like like the old school, like Babylon Five stuff, it was great when I was growing up. Uh, what changes do you see coming to the Persistent Universe with the result of the election? Um, just uh, mission flavor, um, uh, and that sort of stuff. You'll see missions based on that law, go into game. Yeah? That we'll be talking about Lani Addison, you'll see posters about her, you'll see occasional um, law posts about her, um, you'll see uh, pirates and um, uh, the military and stuff acting and um, talking about that sort of thing. 
future. In the farer future, I'd expect to see um, uh, the talk about AI and the dangers of AI, and there may be an AI rebellion and, and silly things like that as well. What gameplay loop, mining, machine running, etc., would you like to see that isn't currently in game, and when do you think we might see it? Um, I think physicalized components and the ability to disable ships, repair, damage control, and board ships because of that is what I'm most looking forward to in the sort of mid-term. I'm expecting to see a lot of that gameplay come online next year. Uh, do you think we will see the Hercules and Genesis Starliner at the Expo? I think we will see them on the hollow tables. Uh, Board, did you make the draw for the Star Runner? Yes, um, it's talked about in this video that will go out live after this, and it's also on my Reddit already. Uh, another Star Runner, giving away another Mercury Star Runner for uh, November. Personal thoughts on Star Citizen using clones instead of original idea of death being feared. Uh, it's still going to be death being feared. There's still going to be death tax, which will be feared. And you will die, die, die eventually. Um, but there might be ways of mitigating that with insurance, effectively. Is what I think, anyway. Uh, what else have we got here? Could the addition of capital ships to shoot at mean we have more capital ships nearing flyable? Yes. So the Idris and Javelin are largely done for Squadron 42's needs. And they're able to put these ships in game now in the Persistent Universe for AI and NPCs to use. But they don't have the true internals or the ability to be flown by players yet because they just haven't finished it for the persistent universe yet nor do they really have the sort of server um server tech to support ships of that size battling each other with a load of players on yeah when is the javelin coming well we might see it we could potentially see it at the intergalactic aerospace expo um uh, you see, you'll probably see it in some other events as well. Thank you very much, Troll. I appreciate the love. Bear with me one second. I just need to buy out. Ha! Yeah. Oh, no. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Fell over. <gasps> That's how I sit down now. That's the sound. Um, what else have we got? Will there be a way of being able to buy the address and other rare ships? Concierge told me they were working on a better store experience when the site went down last year uh, during the address rush. Um, there may well be. Uh, so... They've certainly updated the shopping experience now. Um, to what extent, though, um, remains to be seen, maybe. So they're, they're, 
if you go on the site now, there's there's certainly a new uh, user interface for the for shopping. Um, uh, you should be able to buy the Idris and other ships during the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo again, probably in lots like they did last year. So bear that in mind. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. You'll be able to get everything like that in game though, eventually. Uh, what is your opinion on Death of Spaceman and the law of using deteriorating clones for uh, character continuity until their permadeath? Uh, I think it's actually kind of sensible because it makes more sense time-wise. Because um, otherwise, timeline-wise, it just sort of like breaks. Are the quantum travel bugs fixed in 3.11.1? Expect some of those bugs to be fixed. Um, a lot of the game-breaking bugs for 3.11's branch should uh, have been addressed in 3.11.1, or at least triaged to some degree. Uh, why do you think that the community is so polarised over DNA imprinting or cloning out of Death of Spaceman? Because it's something to talk about. Um, some people are like, don't want it, some people are like, want it, but it's sort of irrelevant until it's in our hands anyway. The, the problem with Star Citizen's development is that everyone has an opinion, and some people think um, it's... Um, one way or the other, rather than sort of like a more iterative development which is evolving. Um, and this is very much something that they're going to take feedback about, but they're going to do it in a way, Death of a Spaceman, that makes sense. Do you see what I mean? Like, cloning actually makes more gameplay sense to an extent. Um, to get a way that, that I mean, Getting, I think you're going to actually be able to wait to be um, picked up and rescued in a lot of situations unless someone attacks you um, a lot more after you've fallen over. Um, but in the cases that you don't want to do that, then respawning immediately and then going back, being able to get back to your body makes more sense that you've been cloned. Because otherwise it's odd, do you know what I mean? It, it makes sense to me. Uh, I've been arguing for all ships to have a transponder you can turn on or off once your ship uh, will no longer broadcast who's on board. Were ships found in this mode? Uh, a fine. Okay. You'd get a fine if you didn't have your transponder on. Um, yeah, maybe. I, I like sort of the idea of that. Maybe having areas where you could shield um, who's on board. So if you got scanned, you wouldn't see who's on board. Maybe a transponder so you can... Um, say who you are. I mean, in Squadron 42, um, in the, the vertical slice that we've seen, there was actually some pirates flying around that were spoofing uh, who they were. Um, do you have any idea of a time frame for the match? No, not really. Um, 18 months at least sort of thing. It's, it's a while out. Is there any more info on what happens if a player has multiple game packages on one account? Not really. Um, they, we do know that they are still um, planning on having agent smithing. Um, so you'll be able to... Um, the idea with that is that um, if you've got NPCs on your ship, uh, a friend can take control of them if you let them, um, which is cool. So you can do cool stuff if you've got a, a carrot flying off um, into the sunset. Um, your mates can come and join you, but also go back to their normal daily lives. Uh, as well. Um, can we give the game copy to a friend? Oh, I see what you mean. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening with additional game packages on your account. Um, could you be able to give them those packages in the future? Uh, I don't know. Could you? Because you'd have to split them from another package. Unless you want to give them the ship package as well. Um, do you know when we'll be able to buy and rent Habs on space stations and destroy... Uh, Plant-based cities? What? Plant-based cities? I don't know what you mean by plant-based cities. Planet-based cities, maybe? Um, so, uh, I wouldn't expect to be able to destroy um, landing zones. Um, they are actively working on eye cash and full persistence and that sort of stuff, which is what they need um, to be able to have rentable habs um, on, uh, on space stations and landing zones and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so you might start to see that stuff, um, habs especially, next year. I've not played for at least a year. What are the next major changes? New content coming in the next few months. Um, there's lots. And there's lots that have changed. Um, so, uh, by the end of this year, 
um, you're going to have uh, AI Idris uh, battles, um, defending stations sort of thing, um, so that the uh, an AI Idris will come along uh, as part of the uh, security forces in the Stanton system to defend space stations. Um, do I have the wrong... I've got the wrong one up. Uh, oop. So they had these new cards, new features added, and so loads of capital chip um, behaviours and improvements and stuff that they've been working on. Um, got a new mining refactor, lots of new HUD stuff, um, got the tractor beam tool, uh, lots, of, lots of things like that. Um, let's bring up the actual roadmap. I've got new roadmaps that are coming along soon as well. Um, prettier space in Stanton that's actually pretty big in my opinion. Um, it's like nebula and gas clouds, um, which will be part of points of interest. Refining, um, uh, and then we've got um, the stuff we just talked about. Um, lots of stuff for capital ships, lots of stuff for refining. Some new ships, um, and some new weapons. So it's actually 3.12 is relatively light. On content unless there's more secret content and more stuff they're going to reveal on that in the near future I expect to see some rebalances I expect to see some new missions and that sort of stuff as well for sure um, next year we really need to wait until they uh, start talking about exactly what they want to get in next year but we know that there are plans for medical gameplay um, for the first half uh, of 2021 and they're getting the eye cash in uh, it looks like they're uh, for the q1 q2 they're getting orison and um, gas clouds, uh, gas clouds, um, gas giant tech in, so Crusader and Orison. Um, uh, probably see the um, Aaron Halo um, done properly. Uh, probably start to see some more gameplay loops um, uh, as well. Um, Cargo 2.0 looks very likely. iCash physicalized components look very likely. There's a huge amount that could be there, huge amount that they're currently working on, um, and we should see the new roadmaps for that uh, by the end of this year, um, so we can actually have a much more accurate of like look at what they've got planned um. <sighs> uh, CIG has almost half a billion dollars uh, well they've raised almost half a billion overall I'd say 440 million, probably. Um, it's probably closer to, um, including pretty much everything. Uh, but they've obviously been spending it on creating a studio and uh, employing staff. Uh, they've said they plan to compensate a specific team very well to find and track these kind of players. I hope they hold that. I'm a bit confused what, exactly what you mean, Technique. Um, uh, also, it's probably worth saying that. WoW, for example, makes around a billion dollars a year. So just sort of bear that in mind. <laughs> when people talk about them making almost half a billion over, what, nine years, eight, eight years, that's uh, a drop in the ocean uh, compared to some of these other games that are admittedly live and um, uh, developed and um, polished and have expansions and are proven. Um, but... Uh, Sort of want to give you a context, a bit of context there. Taking off a satellite shouldn't be an automatic jail sentence. Authorities need to have proof you did it. If entering a facility anonymously, you should be rewarded for not being uh, stupid. Um, yeah, if there's a way to spoof who you are uh, and protect yourself from being detected, uh, maybe you can go to there and you wouldn't be detected for a little while, but eventually you would, and if you didn't do it quick enough, then you could get detected. Uh, I agree with that in the future, for sure. Um, how many capitals can be found in the verse, broken, and waiting for crew to rebuild it? What do you think? I mean, you're, you're going to see things that even like Bengal carriers and stuff are obtainable in the game. Um, and the original thoughts with that was you'd be able to find these uh, damaged, abandoned, or uh, derelict um, Bengal carriers or big capital ships and actually repair them or salvage them. What's your opinion of these care bears or industriousists? who play Star Citizen expecting a PvE experience. Well, I'm largely economy industrial um, player, um, but I PvP helps drive the PvE gameplay. Like, it makes helps with risk and reward. It gives you people to compete against. It. I mean, even if you're just a trader, 
yeah, even if you're just trading and say there was no way of doing combat in the game against another player, you'd still be PvP in some aspects because you're competing with them to get the best deals and to get the best trades and the, the economy is going to be done out. So you're going to be buying things and selling things and that's affected by other players doing the same. Yeah? Um, so, I'm fine with players wanting a more PvE or PvP experience and there's going to be areas of the game, places in the game, systems in the game where you can go and do that. Yeah? But... The PvE experience and PvP experience both drive gameplay for the others. Drake bad question mark? No, 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 no. On paper, Drake are great. And I love the um, Cutlass Red and Cutlass Blue for sure. Will they ever finish the Taurus? I'm hoping the Taurus is done for 3.12. Will we ever see events like supernovas? Well, there's sort of like a black hole uh, in game. Uh, I think a supernova is unlikely. Uh, unless it's... Um, unless it's part of like something happens in Squadron 42, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I think it's unlikely. It's unlikely you'd see one in the Persistent Universe. But there is, uh, there is a black hole system. There's going to be weird anomalies. Uh, when does the November subscriber flare come out? Typically the middle of the month. And uh, is it the the Nerf guns this month, isn't it? I think. Uh, in your opinion, <laughs> do you believe we could have the Benemetrium Q4 2021? No, I do not think that. I think you're more likely to potentially have the Polaris then. Do you expect a server reset for iCash? I do, yes. That is not a confirmation though. Any idea when the, uh, I assume you're talking about the, the Ranger bike will be started? Uh, no. Um, but it, to me, it looks pretty simple to do uh, unless they need to do some more ground physics for a wheeled bike. Uh, do you think we'll ever see Vandal Invasions or th similar things to that? Yes, they've basically confirmed that there will be uh, major events in game and, and uh, things like that uh, in, the, in the future. So, yeah. Exactly that sort of stuff in certain systems. Thank you, Arch Jaybird, for uh, for doing some moddings. Appreciated, sir. <sighs> the new UI design looks awesome for the ship, but how do you think the UI would translate to other ships of the same manufacturer? Pretty well. Yeah? I think... It would be interesting to see if we do get some slight differences with the HUDs uh, between ships with the same manufacturer, but they, they're largely going to be the same as what it sounds like. Are there currently any plans to be able to choose... What's on your screens and displays throughout your ship? Yes, there are. The MFD's multifunction displays are multifunction um, and can have different things on them. Uh, and in fact, I think you can probably, as the owner of the ship, you will be able to set them custom as well. So certain people or certain stations only have the certain um, uh, functionality. Oh, have you got things like um, uh, YouTube and stuff on them? Uh, I'm not sure if you'll have that sort of functionality, but you'll have ship functionality on them. Um, it'll be interesting to see what we can actually do with the range texture tech and uh, mobile glass stuff and apps. And will they just go, actually, these are just like Android phones, go crazy. Um, do you think the NPC ships will undergo the same resource management? Yes. They'll, they'll be the same as player ships, pretty much. Uh, would you imagine a pirate in a 600i, considering the ship has three, so six weapons uh, under pilot control, large shields, large pilot cargo? Yeah, you'll you'll see occasionally a pirate 600i, I'm, I'm sure, in the future. 
do we see different ammo manufacturers? For example, Origin missiles that are more designed around speed, or yeah, yeah, you, there are literally different manufacturers that specialize in particular things, and they build their their weapons and gear and missiles and stuff and ammo um, with that manufacturer in mind, so that yeah, they go and um, they've got like a, 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 a what the triangle um, things where they go power and speed and they sort of like trying to line where a manufacturer um, uh, goes on there power speed and quality or, or uh, cost and, and things like that and you'll see lots of um, ammo types in the future for lots of different uh, weapons in the game uh, do you think that the capital ship to station docking is an indication that maybe ships like the Jat of Lin are nearly flyable um, so probably not nearly flyable um, but certainly um, capable of being controlled by AI and being in the game. Uh, if you have multiple game packages on your account, what can you do with them? We don't 100% know yet. Um, but as I said, Agent Smithing is planned to be a thing. Will Star Citizen have black holes? There is a black hole system, so I would expect so. Um, but I'm not sure to what extent you'll be able to travel to that system and uh, research the black hole. What's happened in, in the flight stick world? It's just because of the global situation. And that's caused a lot of um, manufacturing issues, I think. That stuff's a lot harder to get hold of. Uh, what do you think of the current quantum travel mechanic? And do you think it should be reworked before other systems relying on it come to play? Um, certainly needs love, for sure. Um, it might not necessarily need to rework it. It might be waiting on various other things to come into play. I mean, they want orbiting planets and moons and stuff as well, don't they? Um, so they need quantum splines that are dynamic. Um, what is the current status of the Mercury Star Runner if it hasn't already been covered? Uh, it is in polishing currently. Uh, expect to see it between uh, now and uh, the 20th of November. Do you know when 3.11.1 is due out? No, uh, not for sure. I expect to see it go to wider PTU at some point over the next couple of weeks. Um, and then... Um, out by the 20th of November, if not before. Do you think Titan suits are going to be a viable option for boarding ships? Um, I think there, there's going to be some um, size um, that's going to prohibit them a lot. So they're not going to be able to move around very well in corridors in space um, ships, but they might be able to be used to secure a hangar or large area or uh, places on the ground. So I think they'll have their uses, but they'll also have disadvantages. Are you open to shoot my arm off a few times so I can get a cool cyborg prosthetic? Yes! You had me at shoot my arm off. Uh, when do you think we might see the Kraken? If it's a priority, end of next year. If it's not, then at least two years. I mean, it's a big... It's a big ship. Well... Maybe it is a... Maybe that's a little bit over... Over... Under optimistic, as it were, because it's likely they want the Kraken to operate as pirate mobile pirate bases, and it makes a cool uh, sort of point of interest to assault pirate base Kraken. Yeah, so maybe they will want it in as early as possible. Uh, so maybe, yeah, maybe a, a year to to eighteen months sort of thing. Um, that sort of makes sense, but again, that's an I reckon. Thank you very much, SMB Super Mac Brothers, coming in with a beautiful raid. I love you. You're a sexy boy. Um, we'll have to talk at some point as well, Mac. Um, do you like beans? Please say yes. Yes. Yeah? Is that is that good? How will they uh, handle the earned items like Halloween helmets when the new physical inventory comes out? Will you be able to lose those items? So it's interesting. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to do with them. Are they going to be fully lootable? Are they going to be insurable? Are they going to be... Um, you don't really want to carry them around with you because if you die, they can just be stolen and you lost them permanently. Don't 100% know how they're going to handle it. I would hope they'd be insurable. Do you think we'll see blade chassis and AI blades faster with the election of Addison? Um, I see what you mean because she's super AI orientated and 
computer orientated effectively and tech orientated, we see that that stuff coming to game quicker. I mean, it could influence the prioritization of, of stuff like that from CIG, maybe. Will we be able to select a landing location and stations? For example, I want to dock my sh I want to dock my ship, or do I want to go into a hangar? Oh, so you have to choose whether you dock or go into a hangar. Maybe in the future. Um, maybe there will be costs associated with docking as well, so that sort of make more, makes more sense. On me. <sighs> do you hate beans? What? Why do people? Why bean? Why? You, what? What is going on? I'm too tired for this shit. Uh, how do you think the player base will change when perma damage cause overcloning is a thing? Uh, I mean, uh, so PvP and PVE. It'd be very different. Although you could still, obviously, uh, PVE things are still going to be dangerous um, and cause you to um, die sometimes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think it will change the way people play the game because it's going to drive their actions and the way that they fight um, and play. But, um, it'll be interesting to see. I, I want to... I mean, t if anything, it just makes it slightly more like EVE. Uh, and I don't think that's a bad thing. But the earlier stages of Eva are not a bad thing anyway. Thank you very much, Nick Gregory. Nick Gregory. Gregory. G Gregory. Nick, thanks. I appreciate becoming a board gamer and you, the YouTube join button, which you can find underneath my YouTube videos. Hmm. Appreciate that. Thank you. Any idea on salvage? Reclaimer is the best ship. I'm expecting to see a first tier salvage as soon as we have physicalized components, so next year. Now, I was hoping we'd get it by the end of this year, but obviously that is not the case. Well, unlikely the case unless they're magic. Do you have any idea when NPC crews, not blades per se, will be released? I don't see Chris um, Roberts. Is he hanging out with you? I think, is Chris, are you there, Chris? Are you, are you, are you just... He's still there. He's just, he's just falling down a little bit. He's feeling the, the lockdown. He's got a bit heavier. Um, what do I think of the Acedio Comoray in uh, Squadron 42? It's a cool little Comoray. Yeah, it's a cool little location. Um, I want to actually play Squadron 42, episode one, right? Um, are beans reliant on serve machine? No! That's, that doesn't make any sense! What's wrong with you? <laughs> Plastic death for the Omen Sire and Zin. What? Why and Zin? She's like the Empress of Man. What's going on? She's subverting my control. Um. So uh, we don't know when NPC crews are coming in. I would expect to see NPCs as wingmen slash um, NPCs as part of missions, sort of like. Um, the buddy system, them following you, you rescuing them, and you having to med them, things like that, uh, in the uh, in the sh shortish term. Since land claims are a thing already, meh, they're a thing, but they're not in game. Uh, would it be a leap in logic to assume there would be space land claims for played out in space stations? Uh, it is a leap, um, but I want to see that as well, and I think that is a possibility in the future. Um, I think that. Maybe space around a space. If we had a player spa own space station, then maybe it comes with a little area around it, which is also um, like your land, maybe. But uh, we'll have to wait and see whether they're going to be player own space stations. What do you think of the new uh, direction of Death of a Spaceman and medical gameplay handicaps, uh, the single player experience, the PU? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, you can still get saved by other people. Um, there might be ways that if you're falling over and bleeding out, you'll have to jab yourself with a med pen to get yourself back up. It might not just be you're just unconscious, full stop, you can't get yourself back up. Um, I would say that Star Citizen is best played 
with a group or with other people though. Um, and yeah, solo players are going to be at a disadvantage if they're doing something dangerous because if they had a teammate with them, they'd be able to get them back up and save them. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, Dallin Den Genesis, thank you very much. Um, that said, a smaller group or a single person might be able to sneak past and be more stealthy and do stuff that a group would not be able to do. So there's still going to be gameplay for those people and there's still going to be advantages of being solo. Um, for sure. I will update the... Uh, this... Uh, the donation gauge with uh, Super Chats and anything like that as well in the future. It's not updating at the moment. So apologies, people that are um, chucking money at me. I do appreciate the money. Thank you. Thank you. Don't think, genuinely thank you. Uh, and I'll update that so you can see it. Um, stars. I need to uh, bio quick again. Ha! Oh, I drank far too much tea today. Crash, bang, mother trucking wallop. Ugh. Oh, mate, I've got the worst bladder control at the moment. I'll tell you that. Uh, at, least it's, at least it's not poor bowel control, I suppose. Uh, do you see a time where repairing your ship would require you to go find the correct parts? Um, not just a one click fix. Yes. I think that some stations and repairs um, w will not be sufficient. I think there will be different types of repair. I think you'll be able to replace full components. I think you'll be able to um, do some jury rigging. Uh, I think you'll be able to do subcomponents. Um, I think there there will be a range of repair stuff. Uh, that's good. Server meshing isn't needed for bean gameplay. I hate you. I hate you. I'm not going to look at your iCash comment on beans either, no. Do you think the Mercury Star Runner will have hidden areas and walkways? Um, there is hidden uh, sort of vents and things that are easily accessible from uh, various areas, like under tables and uh, areas. That That's part of the ship. Uh, do you think that we might get new variants of crew mining ships on par with the Mole? Mole has a lot of wasted space and could have uh, been replaced with ladders and elevators and a small drop-down cargo area. Eh, I don't think so. Would it be cool uh, if when you log out, your player becomes an NPC? It's possible that they might be, to an extent, especially on multi-crew ships. Like if you're on an Atrus, you might be sleeping in a bed. Um. Do you know what I mean? Uh, would you agree that a lot of older vehicles with planned features seem to be forgotten? So uh, the Dragonfly having saddlebags and a compact mode, for instance. Um, so saddlebags, for example, they are working, and you should, should be able to see this from the rock, on interactive cargo for things like that. Um, so the cargo systems are being built for that. So I don't think their stuff's been forgotten. I think some of it's um, on a back burner and uh, backlog that they will get through, uh, but they prioritise stuff uh, based on Squadron 42's needs and the um, current needs of the persistent universe, which d does change. Uh, when will we see a reworked Vandal ships? So the um, Scythe and Glaive, they look beautiful, uh, the new ones. Um, now, they need to get their cockpits done for humans 
have them back in the persistent universe because they've got the the them sort of looks like they've got them ready for squadron 42's needs which is the vandal um cockpits but they want to have human cockpits for them um, i'm not sure how long that's going to take to to do uh Klaxlop, thank you very much for for uh, modding that Jay Bird, uh, but I'll happily answer him. Uh, are you guys still following this this uh, effing train wreck of a game? Uh, yes, for several years, and I'll still continue to do so. Um, I, I'm out of here. This shit's hilarious. I mean, it could be hilarious, but do you think it's more weird that you're slightly obsessed coming on there, coming here, and being angry at other people for following the game? That's a bit weird. I mean, you're entitled to do that, I suppose. You are entitled to do that, and you're entitled to your opinion. Um, but I would say your opinion's wrong. <laughs> um, do we have any more info on the teased origin ship a few months ago? Uh, I don't know. When was that teased? I can't, I can't remember the context of that. I vaguely remember a while ago in a conservation newsletter there was something about an origin uh, thing, but I think we've already had the origin stuff. Um, uh, Rockstar, can you give me more context for that? Um, I think we've probably already uh, had the, the origin stuff that was teased. Uh, maybe the black hole's time dilation uh, could be explained by the release of Star Citizen being delayed. What? Kidding? I hate you, Fataki. How is your American accent? Terrible. Uh, does it involve saying the word cheeseburger? Um, I, I can't do an American accent. I'm British. I'm not American. I will not um, soil my tongue with your fat English. <laughs> Uh, Troll wants to know if any new Starfarer-related info has been released or leaked. No, nothing new. Not yet. Um, although I'm thinking that they're going to sort of have the Starfarer as a um, gas miner, but also a gas and liquid siphoner as part of, like, salvage. Um, so that's my current thoughts. Um, no, we're not. I'm not, I'm not going to... Um, I, I even talked to the guy that I think was a troll, but I'm not going to talk to people that have things about bean gameplay. I'm not even sure what that means. Oh, you're the worst. Has CIG talked about having special clothing and equipment items obtainable via the website? Uh, for example, the Invictus Week flight jacket. No way to reacquire this if there's a wipe at some point. Oh, I see what you mean. Um... I think they were trying to do the unlockable stuff that's permanently or not wiped um, on your account with the Vandal mask and the, the Halloween mask stuff. Um, so I, I don't know. Hopefully, Claire Imperium will give a bit more of a statement because I, I want to be able to get that stuff in-game now and not have it wiped from my account when there's a reset. Yeah? Some of that stuff. Just... Can we assassinate the newly uh, elected Borg Queen? Wow. Uh, Addison is Borg Queen. Do you know if the pledge packages will be on sale during the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo? I would expect to see some gameplay packages on sale. Um, I have my eye on the 100i. I would expect that to be one of the ones that is on sale. Uh, back again with my previous rant about coffee machine in the Carrack. When can I put the coffee machine back? Um, so I would expect coffee machines to be purchasable and placeable and other flare items mid of next year with iCash. I think it's sort of an iCash y thing. Coffee on iCash. Mmm, delicious. Uh, I run incursions in EVE Online. Are there any activities like incursions in Star Citizen? I would expect a very similar um, types of point of interest scanning down and um, incursions and uh, the way that EVE does points of interest uh, and um, sort of um, clearing them um, to have similarities with, with Star Citizen. Obviously Star Citizen being a lot more in depth uh, and first person and, you know, Star Citizen mechanics pasted on top of that. But I think uh, Star Citizen would, would work very well with that. Uh, 
Is the rock still busted? 3.11 have appreciated the usability of the rock, uh, which they prioritised to fix for it because it's one of the few gameplay loops at the moment. Um, yeah, it was broken. Um, there was some breaks in the rock for sure. Um, I expect them to be um, addressing a lot of those in 3.11.1. So, uh, is the Star Runner in the current Evacardi patch? I can't say, but I would expect it to be uh, available for everyone to try in 3.11.1 in a wider PTU at some point uh, in the next couple of weeks sort of thing. That's, that's my expectation. Uh, when is the drone gibboning? Any hints, hints? No, I don't know. I do want drones in-game, though. Uh, and I think that they are going to be worked on uh, in the not-too-distant future. Will the star on get a weapon buff, even if it's just changing the turrets from size 2 to size 3? Um, yes, the, it, I would expect some changes to the Mercury Star Runner. Do you think we will see how close the Emperor to election results were? Ooh, I'd like to see a percentage of votes as well. Um, yes, I suspect that CIG will release an infograph. All different parts of a ship change the visuals of a ship. Yes. Like you could change your engines. Yes, yeah, yeah. Thrusters and engines and changes like that will, will be visible. Uh, the screenshot tease. What? 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 I just realised that there are no toilets for the passengers on with Phoenix. Uh, only staff bathroom at the front of the ship. Um, you just pee in the pool, don't you? And just. That's what I do. That's what I do in real life. That's why I'm not allowed to go to the the, the pools anymore. It's not even because of the lockdown. Got a lane ship question. I'm torn between an M2 and a Genesis for a transport ship. Feel the Genesis might be become more versatile, versatile than the M2. Um, what to, what's my opinion? Um, so, okay, if you're going to be transporting people, Genesis Starliner. If you're going to be transporting vehicles and people, but mainly vehicles, M2. That's one is a military more drop ship, um, or cargo transporter with the, the M2. But the Genesis Starliner is more of a people carrier. Uh, new mining things coming anytime soon? Yes. Um, expect to see more mining things in 3.12. Uh, they're working on a new mining UI and stuff like that as well for it. Um, are you going to start acting like a media reporter for Star Citizen events since you're so in tune with the news about the project? Um, in-game stuff, I want to be doing more in-game stuff. And I want to be doing uh, in-game news in-game. Um, hopefully not overly cringy. Um, which is the, the issue, isn't it? Being too cringe that you cause yourself actual physical pain. Uh, when do you think resets will stop? Uh, in the far future. I mean, they, they're they trying to not reset persistence at the moment. Uh, and they're actually a much, it's quite rare to have a reset now, um, but there will still be them, um, at least until um, we get beta, um, and then probably final wipe just before live. But um, that could be a long way away. Can you say if the MicroStar Runner isn't in Eva Carti? I can't, I can't talk about the specifics in Eva Carti patch uh, beyond um, sort of like, is it an Eva, is the patch in Eva Carti? It's pretty much the only thing I'm willing to say um, with Eva Carti stuff. Any news on larger ships not being able to travel through certain jump points? Maybe they aren't maneuverable enough. Uh, so they haven't talked much about it since the original uh, stuff on it, which was there are jump points which are certain sizes which certain size ships can't fit through um, and you'd have to go a different route um, but they haven't that's many years old um, that those sort of plans so we'll have to see how they they work in the future do you think we'll say the Drake Corsair go on sale at the end of the month expect to see almost every ship on sale including a allotment probably of Idris's and Javelin's almost everything should be on sale things that like won't be on sale Probably not the um, Sabre Raven, although it's been rumoured that it might be because some, someone saw it um, sort of in the shop briefly for $200. Um, but that could have just been a random mistake. If you could only choose to use one single ship as your all-round ship in the finished position universe, what do you think you'd choose? Uh, Mercury Star Runner, Karak... Um, something like that, probably. 
Any idea if we'll be able to have and build illegal drug labs? I would expect that you'll be able to do something like that with base building, um, almost certainly. So they've talked about having that with the Endeavour. You're able to do science and build and craft um, narcotics. All medicine, I've got the Rona. GG. GG, boys. Uh, but yes, I, I would expect you both to make narcotics, um, most certainly. Uh, when is the UI rework for the Aegis ship coming out? Don't know for, for sure. Um, could be for 3.12, although I think that's very doubtful, seeing um, more like Q1 next year. Do you think coffee machines will be put in game alongside the generation machines for us to use? What? Bean generation machines, I hate you. No! No, Vladimir! God damn it. Uh, Startup packs, sale too. I would expect to see game packages, Startup packs on sale during the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. And by on sale, based in that specific circumstance with Startup packs, I expect them to potentially have uh, 5 or $10 off. I literally have a little um, money off discount on them. Uh, statement. I don't think there will be a wipe unless there is something game breaking. Uh, I expect to see wipes in the future. And then a final wipe at some point. But they, at the moment, try not to wipe. And the, yeah, they, they might wipe when iCash comes out, because there might be a whole new way of dealing with databases. Do you think they will rework MobiGlass UI? Uh, yes. They're reworking a load of the apps and stuff for them. Carrick has a, 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 yeah, so Carrick, although it doesn't have any um, pilot um, DPS at the moment. Um, in the future, when we have um, blades and MPC crew and stuff like that, um, I think it'll be a, a great ship of uh, multi-role. Uh, will the mining refinery will the refineries allow multiplayer mining? So that will the mining refinery allow multiplayer mining? So friends can collect pods with materials. Thanks for answering your questions. Your uh, thanks for the love. Appreciated. Um, so the mobile refinery should be able to somehow um, take mineables and convert them on the fly. Um, could it be a fuel refinery? Could it be a, 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 a solids mineable refinery? Could it be both? Yes. Um, we don't know until it's in our hands, until they describe it in more detail. Um, but expect tractor beams were involved somehow. I recently refunded my pledge with the Origin 100i because I had several game-breaking bugs with it stopping me from playing. I might venture back with a different ship and so that makes sense. Yeah, very stressful if you're like, well, actually, I'll get into Star Citizen. Oh, everything's broken, and it's especially my ship. Great, and I can imagine that's pretty annoying. Does the new elevator interface show what level you're on currently? Uh, I don't know. I suspect that will show that uh, at some point in the future. Um, they are trying to make the the verse more um, ergonomic and user friendly. Uh, I could only find this post on the forums about the origin teast thing. What? So I, I think it was referring to something we've already had from origin. I think we were talking about. Um, I think it was a, a very minor thing from origin as well, as far as I can remember. Um, origin. Board game. What well, have I written about it? Um, so in April, I talk. That's us ages ago. Uh, Origin. There's an Origin celebration event just around the corner. Uh, hmm. I don't really know. I'll, I'll research back into it, but I think it was something just a minor Origin thing. It might have been the showing off the 100 eye again or something like that. How's Safety Boy doing? I'm planning to try and bring him back uh, for, and Safety Girl potentially, for the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. He needs a mask. 
He needs he needs to be super safe. Uh, will the mining ref uh, we talked about that. Uh, how exactly will the mobile refinery ship work? We don't know yet. We don't know. We don't even know for sure that it is a mobile refinery ship that's going to be at sale at the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. But it's possible that, yeah, maybe it can take the uh, mining pods directly from the prospector. It was the G12s. Yes, it was. Thank you, Technique. The G12 buggy. The little, the little, the little, um, little buggy boy. It was the G12, the origin teased thing for, uh, for Fleet Week. Star. Chris Roberts is, uh, is just having a, he's just chilling out at the bottom of the screen. He's just, he's just a chill boy. He's just chilling. Uh, right. Will Skyrim launch on the Moby Glass? Oh my god, can you imagine if you could get emulators on the Moby Glass and play all my retro games? Uh, is the Nomad confirmed as the refinery ship? St it's still speculation. Technically, the Nomad is still um, just a rumour. <laughs> it Full stop. Um, and then what the Nomad actually is is also speculation. So, uh, Do you still shill for Shadow PC? Yes! Uh, I'm still a big um, fan of Shadow. Um, they had a big waiting list, uh, though, so it just seemed... Um, redundant to say, get Shadow uh, for the last couple of months because you'd be waiting like three months. Uh, th this month and next month, um, the, the waiting lists are much more bearable. Um, so uh, I will start to uh, shill for them again this month. Um, but I'm still very pro Shadow. I like um, cloud based uh, hardware stuff, it makes sense. Uh. Right. How long will the RSI gun boat be in lengthwise? Um, so we don't know for sure. Um, the expectation at the moment is somewhere between 120 and 150 meters. Um, and how much will it cost? Don't know. But again, between probably 750 and $900. Because um, you're sort of comparing it to the um, Hammerhead and Polaris, yeah? There's a video from Polymorphic's channel with Expo Agenda and Microsterona is on the list. Okay, that makes sense. But it makes sense that the Microsterona is on that list as well, just because it's going to be flyable uh, and, uh, uh, and rentable for free at that time as well. Um, do you think we might see the Orion when refinery decks are in game? No. It's going to be a while before the Orion's out. Some Tetris during Quantum Jump sounds neat. I know, right? Especially if you can do some, some PvP Tetris. Um, connect to some other people, and some Alpha UBC by playing people, some silly stuff like that, right? Um, or if the RSI gun boat is just the Polaris, dun dun dun! Um, can the Tonk fire from a moving Starlifter? Yes, it can. It can fire out the back of a ship, That they've said that already. Uh, do you see Star Citizen on a cloud server such as Stadia or other services? Well, I mean, I play it regularly on um, Shadow stuff. Um, I would expect it to be on other cloud services in the future, though, yes. Just because of how prevalent I think cloud gaming will become in the future. Uh, what do you expect will be the cheap LTI token this anniversary sale? Um, probably the Nomad will be the cheapest LTI token. That'll be my expectation. A ship showdown skins before the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo, or not until the Expo? During the Expo. During the Expo. Uh, any other questions? <laughs> Have we got... Uh, any other questions? So this video in the background is the uh, CitizenCon 2019 demo. 
I'll, uh, I'm going to be putting one together of all the clips from inside Star Citizen and um, all the Squadron 42 clips and stuff um, over the last, what, like, three months uh, as a background video for B-roll as well. Do you think they will create a medical request communication button for players to request a medivac? Uh, yeah, it will be part of the contract system. It will be part of the um, service picking system, almost certainly, so that you can have uh, people rescue you. Uh, do you think there will be a Vandal capital ship that we will be able to buy at some point, both IRL and in-game? Uh, probably not with the real money. Um, I, it's possible that you would be able to eventually capture one and convert one over for human use. However, Vandal ships typically blow themselves up when captured, I think is the idea there. Um, things like the King ship, when they're completed for Squadron 42's needs, they're not going to be fully... Um, they're not going to have full interiors. They're just going to have the interior bits that they need. Um, so sort of bear that in mind. Um, but in the in the far future, yeah, I would I would expect them to be pretty, um, pretty complete. What should be the first ship you buy then, in for the game? Just a starship's all you need. Just a starship. I mean, the the the. The best bang for buck ship wise for a starter, in my opinion, is an Avenger Titan. But you could just get by with a Mustang Alpha or an Aurora, bam, and then grind a load of money and then rent one of those uh, more powerful ships and, in, in a day or so. I've checked the. I've checked and the RC Ranger will be two more years tall. Do you know if that will fit in the 325A cargo bay? Don't know until it's actually in our hands. But it will be very compact as a bike. Will you be able to make food in game? There are food makers. Um, uh, and there are like uh, mess halls and stuff. To what extent you'll be able to actually craft food, I don't know. But I think that every MO has two things. Food crafting and fishing. Do we know when we'll find out who won the election? We already have. There's a post on the RSO website. It is... Leilani Addison. If torpedoes are made slower and uh, they can be shot down, would ships like the Polaris become essentially uh, less useful? The torpedoes on them will be less overpowered, but they'll be more balanced for the game. So there's going to be very specific uses for torpedoes and for protecting ships from torpedoes. Yeah? So, you don't want to just launch torpedoes and you're like, well, I've launched my torpedoes, they win. You can't just have them just GG win. You've got to wait for ships that would shoot them down to be engaged or destroyed and then fire them uh, and things like that. So, it, it makes sense. Uh, when do you think we might see some gas cloud mining? Um, next year. Early next year is, is quite possible. Um, it depends on how much of priority it is. Obviously, they're getting the space gaping ga gas clouds and they're getting the uh, gas giants in well, crusader is a gas giant in and the tech for all of that is one plus one equal eleven uh, in some situations depends on how you're doing your uh, maths uh, do you think the Hercules C2 will become more expensive before its release no well as it's released yes Right. Well, that's a couple more questions, and then I'm going to dash off. Uh, I own a Nautilus. How do you think mines will compare to torpedoes? Uh, I mean, they're very different. Um, I think if you're not looking around for mines, they're going to creep up on you. <laughs> it's the way I see it. Um, but also, you can get the magnetic mines and turret mines. Um, so, but I, I think they're more defensive. Obviously, torpedoes are very offensive. Um, and mines are very defensive um, and require you to pre-place effectively. Uh, do you think we'll see VR support implemented in the far future? Yes, I do. At least for Squadron 42, but probably for both. Um, what do you think about piracying game like a Mongrel Squad channel? I mean, pirating for cash, not for kills. Um, I, I'm going to be talking to Rogue Squadron, uh, as the plans later this month, um, about PvP in game and balancing it now and sort of their, their gameplay. Um, 
I think that having organizations that will hunt players down and bounty hunt and stuff um, is going to be part of the game as long as you do it for in-game money. Um, it depends on how that's done and how that's managed in-game. Um, but I'm sort of up for most gameplay. Can you make a video on a budget star system? I've done them before, but I suppose you need to do them making sure they've got AVX instructions. Because uh, I used workstations and CPUs and some of them might not have AVX, so I suspect they do. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing a Star Citizen PC build, and you'll see in the video that, uh, later today that I talk about that. Um, later this month is the plan, um, and it's going to be a high-end, but affordable-ish uh, PC, and then we'll probably start talking about some cheaper options as well. Um, We interrupt your regularly scheduled Spectrum broadcast to bring you the results of the 2950 and Braid elections. It's Le Leilani Addison. Space Elon Musk, she is good candidate. She did win. Um, I'm interested to see how that evolves the law of the game in the future. But I suspect um, Skynet. GG. GG, guys. Um, do you need to kill a sandworm to be able to hook a space whale? Oh my god, that's a, such a good idea, isn't it? It's like a, you need a giant fishing rod with a sandworm on the end. Um... The Endeavour was one of the early ships available to purchase, and one of the larger ones. Uh, why did they dangle that carrot, and now we have absolutely no indication of when or if it's available? Because they knew they wanted to have um, expanded science gameplay in the game, and they wanted to make a top-tier science ship. Um, but science gameplay is not hugely required for Squadron 42, if at all. Um, and it is one of the more complex, um, longer sort of like gameplay loops, more complex gameplay loops that requires a lot more of the other gameplay loops to come online first because it touches so many of the others. I wonder about point defense systems. Could we replace a turret with a point defense system to protect against torpedoes? You will be able to use in some ships um, AI blades, computer blades, to um, have a turret automatically shoot at torpedoes and missiles, although the effectiveness of that um, we'll have to wait and see. But there will be turrets, uh, there will be flak cannons and things like that for, for shooting them down as well. At least be more effective. They're not going to be 100% um, super effective at 100% stopping all the torpedoes, so bear that in mind. When do you see drones coming into play? And what types will they have? Um, so you'll probably have um, salvage, repair with fuel, rearm ones, we know, we know that. Um, scouting ones, um, light combat ones, um, potentially repair. They could do a huge range, a range of stuff. Would definitely repair. Um, could you make a video recreating the torpedo burrito? <laughs> um, the spaceman seems primitive at this point with the amount of deaths caused by crashes. Do you expect it to be released before these uh, are addressed? Um, no, I, I mean, well, yes, sort of. Uh, Death of the Spaceman won't be in game properly in, for a while, um, and there's going to be a lot of fixes and a lot coming online with Star Citizen before then. Uh, do you know where the best place to mine with a prospector is? Uh, that will change. Um, no, currently, to be honest. Uh, do you know where... Uh, well, thanks for your doing all this. Um, keep up the good work. Thank you very much for the love. Very much appreciate it. Um, I'm happy with either Shrad or Addison. Good, because Addison's won. Uh, I wonder what Addison will bring. A swift AI-based death. <laughs> When is, a boss of, uh, when is it possible that we rock could change its hand to a tractor beam? What? Some moving cargo gameplay. Oh, I like the idea of that. I like the idea of changing its, um, its mining beam to a pure tractor beam. Can you pat your head and rub your stomach at the same time? Yeah. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, wait. On. Yes. I can. Get wrecked, son. Um, is there a good source or video you can recommend to learn the ins and outs of leveraging the CIG system for upgrading a ship? Uh, apologies if that's already been addressed. And Nubafar and I, I think, have both got uh, videos talking about um, different stuff like that. Um, might be more specific for a Nubafar video. Uh, he has literally talked about how to get the best out of, of those things. Uh, I'll be doing a video um, how to get the most out of the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo sales and things like that uh, as well. The auto missile turrets on the Polaris, are those planned to be capable of point defense? So I think everything technically that's a turret 
could be seen as a point defense system if used correctly um, and equipped with the right weaponry. At least have the ability to shoot down torpedoes and missiles. That clapping noise though, that was, that was my head. I've got a bald egg head. You're hearing the yolks, mate. Right. Uh, anything else? Um, so I'll be getting a video out straight away after uh, this uh, stream. I say straight away. Uh, 15 minutes, I'll go grab a cup of tea uh, and then um, get uh, a video out. Uh, it will be a um, what to look forward to uh, through November, some channel updates, that sort of stuff. When do you think these ship tractor beams will be functional? That is a good question. Um, I think um, it is a mid-term goal at the moment. Or, well, uh, it's actually a next year sort of goal uh, at the moment because I think they're going to want it for a huge amount of gameplay mechanics. Obviously, they've got the tractor beam uh, multi-tool planned um, for 3.12, which is going to be using basically the same tech uh, as the large ones. So... Any word on the asteroid belt and the standard system? Yeah, the Aaron Halo. I'm expecting to see it in properly next year. Um, no new um, updates on it beyond what we saw inside Star Citizen a few months ago, and um, where they showed sort of like it roughly um, placed. How many factions in will there be in game? Lots, lots and lots. Per, dif different ones per system. You will have different pirate factions and um, different security factions, whatever system you're in. Uh, I appreciate the love. Thank you very much. Uh, any info on when the reworked ship UI will drop? No, um, not really. They're working on the uh, HS ship pad at the moment. Um, we should see a new um, mining HUD probably in 3.12. Um, could we see the HS ship HUD in 3.12 for the at least for the uh, Gladius? Possibly, uh, but I think it's a little bit further out. Loaner ships for capital ships. Yeah, there should be loaner ships for capital ships. Uh, check the loaner matrix. Um, Support.robertspaceindustries.com and then there's the loaner matrix on there. Why would we actually need tractor beams for now? Um, so moving cargo, moving uh, bits of ship, uh, moving asteroids, mineables, uh, for utility stuff, putting ships out of atmosphere, towing ships, um, lots of stuff like that. Repair, rescue. <coughs> that great utility item. Will the cutlass ever get a toilet? And maybe a little, like, a uh, little portable one. Get a portable. Porta loo. Porta loo. Actually, there probably will be porta loos. What am I even saying? That, that almost certainly will be silly little porta loos um, for you uh, to, to purchase for ships. Why not? Uh, Lednap also did a really good intergalactic aerospace uh, uh, video the other day. Cool. I will check that out. I have not seen that one. Uh, do you think ship to ship cargo transfers uh, will be a thing soon, if at all? They will be a thing at some point. I mean, there's going to be boarding and piracy and stealing of cargo for sure. Um, they want to have ship to ship docking at some point, but I don't think you need ship to ship docking to have cargo moving between ships. What you do need is better physicalized cargo with cargo 2.0, which they are working on at the moment. Just bought this game yesterday. There's a lot going on, but it is very much alpha, uh, Thomas. Um, so good luck with it. Um, check out my channel for uh, a huge amount of guides and news. Because um, that's all I do with my life. I cover stars and listen. I love it. And I love you guys. Thank you very much. I love the community. Uh, I love the project. Uh, and I appreciate people um, watching my shit. So that they can... Uh, or, or giving me money. So that I can continue doing my stuff. And I think Zinna probably appreciates that too as well. Um, will there be space in the Mercury Star Runner for vehicles? Or is that just the Hercules? I mean, you might be able to get a small vehicle in the Microstar Runner. We'll have to wait until it's in our hands, though. And we'll see you very soon. Um, right. Uh, I'm going to go and host someone. Uh, let us see who else is online. Uh, we'll go on the Twitch and see who's there. And I'll just check. So I'll say we're going to go host someone. Or you can go over and see them. Uh... Uh, give Saurus some love. I haven't seen talked to Saurus for a while. Uh, used to be very, very good mates with Saurus. Uh, we started to do some um, Among Us um, relatively recently, but I've been super busy over the last few weeks. Um, I haven't been able to do that with them. But um, give him some love. Um, boop. Thank you very much. 
Have you organized your YouTube videos into a playlist? Y yes. Yes. What? Huh? Um, thank you very much for the love. Very much appreciated. Thank you very much for all the donations and the follows and the subs. Plastic Death, thank you, thank you. Uh, mechanics, uh, uh, good luck with your child, your new baby daughter. I hope that she's been born and she has all her own legs. Uh, Suboptimal, thank you, thank you. Uh, Nil stuff, incognito, in, in, incognito. I can't see your name because I'm an idiot. I uh, thank you very much, uh, very much appreciated. Uh, as I said, I'll be getting a video out very soon after this. Uh, love your faces. You take care, guys. Uh, peace out. Mwah.